Hey guys, Frankie at 8DO here, and in this video I'm going to take you through our latest updated library, Acoustic Grand Ensembles Volume 1. This library is beautifully unconventional, and is made up of five different ensembles of instruments that are perfect for adding an unusual and unique timbre to your music. These include ensembles of four concert grand pianos, seven acoustic guitars, five xylophones, five glockenspiels, and four tubular bells. On top of the main ensemble patches, we also have around 50 custom synths which were created from the source content and work really well together. As you can see, the library has been completely refreshed with a new interface. So as usual, you can manually select the presets or key switch between them. You can also unload any unused presets to save on RAM. Alter the volume of each individual preset. Combine multiple presets using the stack button and reverse the sounds to create some really cool textures. Over here, the speed dial is used to control the tempo of the guitar patterns. I'll go into more detail on this later. The spread dial controls the mono and stereo signal, so the further we drag the dial to the right, the wider the sound, and this defaults to 12 o'clock. And finally, the response dial controls the sensitivity of your keyboard. The chaos button randomizes all of these parameters, so that's fun to experiment with and then simply use Alt-click to reset this button. On the Sequencer tab, we can select from this list which direction the arpeggiator moves, the speed of the pattern, and swing. We can also specify how many octaves it covers, how many notes are hit, and the length of the sequence. And you can also manually alter the shape of the sequence. On the Mixer tab, we have access to a variety of different microphone positions, which I'll take you through a bit later. Next up, we have four lots on the Effects tab. Simply click this button to activate a lot, select an effect from the drop-down menu, and move the cursor along the X and Y axis to modify the effect. You can further modify the presets using the parameters on the Modulation tab. So let's have a listen to the presets now. Let's take a closer look at the different microphone positions on the Mixer tab. On top of this we have a separate spot mics patch, where you can select the mics for each individual piano in the ensemble. and this is also available for all the other ensembles in the library. So let's move on and check out the other piano articulations.
Let's check out the guitar ensemble now. I've combined a couple of the presets in my examples here. We've also got some guitar patterns that match the tempo of your door. As I mentioned earlier, the speed dial can be used to alter the tempo, so if we drag the dial down, it'll half the time of the pattern. If we drag it up it'll double the time and around 2 o'clock will give us triplets. Let's move on to the guitar synth. And now on to the Glockenspiel Ensemble.
and onto the xylophone presets now. And finally, let's check out the Tubular Bell Ensemble. So there's a huge amount of content in this library and so many cool ways you can manipulate the core sounds. I'm now going to sign off with a short demo I wrote using Age Volume 1. Hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one.